I saw some flat out lies online talking about setting goals and New Year's resolutions. And I want to make sure that you don't get caught up in those lies. Lie number one was a group of people who said, we're not going to set any New Year's resolutions because we're not going to keep them anyway. That's a lie. And I'm going to tell you why. But before, I'm going to tell you lie number two. This actually came from some motivational websites that were saying this is how you set a goal. And I'm going to call them out because this is the way I see it. The lie that they said was when you set a goal, make sure that it's an easy goal because if it's a hard goal, you're never going to keep it. And I do not subscribe to that. I believe that that's a lie. And let me tell you why. When you lose something, when something's taken away from you, you are sad. Time is valuable. And when you lose something, let's say somebody, something irreplaceable is gone, you're sad. And sad is next to misery. Let's say you lose some, uh, what I'm trying to say is if somebody dies in your life, and they're gone. You cannot get that back. And time is the same way. When you lose somebody in your life, that's miserable. And misery is the opposite of happiness and joy. Men are that they might have joy. The purpose of life is joy. Not just happiness, but all the way to joy. That's the purpose of life. And if you know how to have true happiness and true joy in your life, then you can obtain it more easily. But when you don't know how to get it, you're going to stay miserable. I suggest that if losing something brings sadness, gaining something brings happiness, happiness in our life. So what is it that you want to gain? I propose that growth is something that you can gain that's permanent, that's yours forever. So personal growth especially is something that you can obtain and grow. Whether it be you want to be better organized, have more healthier relationships, get your finances in order so that you pay off your bills, whatever it may be. True progress is happiness. And happiness is next to joyfulness. And joyfulness is splendid and the purpose of life. So if you really want to get happy and joyful, I suggest that you don't subscribe to the lies to set an easy goal or to not set any goal at all, but make a challenge to yourself, something that you really desire and that you want and go for it. This is, I have a whole set of, of ways to make sure that your desire is worthy. Your desire is what you have in your inner core and not something that somebody else wants for you to do, but it, that it's yours. And when you follow the guidelines and you make sure that it's yours and you make sure that it's right and you go for it, even when you cannot see how to accomplish it, even when you cannot see the how you're going to do it. That's called a miracle. Yeah, and they still happen. Miracles still happen. When you set a hard goal and you work towards it and you ask for help from above, you ask for help from the angels around you, like your family, they can be angels, they can be ministering angels, and Sometimes family's not the best because sometimes they know your weaknesses and they keep putting you back into your own weaknesses. Sometimes you need to reach outside of your family and ask for help from coaches or friends that really care and know how to get you out. Don't be asking people who don't know the way. If you don't know the way, then you should be not giving advice. If you know the way, then you're eligible to give advice. That's what we call a mentor or a life coach. 
A mentor keeps you going in the direction that they know works and will help you get out. So my name is Keith Allred. I am a motivational specialist. I specialize in keeping people motivated so that they can get from where they are to where they want to be, even when they can't see their way. And I can do this because I have been there and I know how to get here. I have stories about how my health has improved, how my relationships are much improved, and how to get your goals. I advise you to try. Keep working at it. I believe in you. You are valiant. You are stronger than you know. You can do it no matter what obstacles in your way. You can figure it out. Like Thomas Edison didn't know how to invent the light bulb. He kept trying over and over and over again until he figured it out. And he even asked for help. Now, for you, I advise you to subscribe to people who know the way. Ask for help and get the help that you need to get from where you are to where you want to be. I have classes that teach people how to get their goals. You can even subscribe to my channel. I'll put a lot of healthy tips on how to get your mind in order, your heart in order, and your body in order so that we can get your spirit where you want to be into joy. Thank you.